So in this video, we're going to look into a resources table. So pretty much that is a table where you can track any trainings, SOPs, new assets, and new knowledge that you want your team to be aware of. So we are going to build this within Airtable, and I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to go about it and why I build it this way. You'll see how the database looks like, you'll see the thought process behind it, and also the automation that sends a notification on Slack every single time that we have this form submitted. So the process here is really simple. On Airtable, you are allowed to have forms. So I have created this form called the Team Resources Submission Form, and pretty much what we're asking the team to do here is to share the resource title and by the way I don't call this like an SOP or like a doc because I want the team to share resources in general the resources could be new knowledge or a tool to explore it could be an SOP that we have created it could be a training that is not a full SOP for example it could be just like a um, training video and then from there we also define what is the department and the different questions that we have here for example the status the details and the optional walkthrough video the optional document and optional attachments now the moment we submit this we send a slack notification you can also send a discord notification or wherever you want to send notification could be also an email but this is what that looks like so over here you can see that on our table we have created this table called resources we have these views and let me briefly explain what this looks like so the first column is the primary key the primary key needs to be unique so for this reason we have this formula that has the r which stands for the resource the id which is pretty much like an auto number and then this is the resource title so then this is definitely going to be unique because the id meaning this field here the auto number is ascending so it's going to always be unique and never the same. Now we have these resource types and as I explained to you we don't have just SOPs we have new knowledge new tools and trainings so you have this drop down right here for your team in alphabetical order as well and then the resource title is a long text field. The reason I prefer long text fields is because you can always expand them like this on Airtable whereas if you have the single line text then it's not easy to expand. From here then we have the different departments you can also click here and alphabetize them and you can always save them i think the other i would like for you to stay at the bottom always and then over here we have the details and any walkthrough videos any documents any attachments the reviewed by we don't really use it to be honest because it's not a process that i would commit to do so anytime that i have a process that i'm not ready to commit or have someone in my team commit to we don't really follow it right unless we really see the value in it so maybe in the future we will have people reviewing this stuff for now i don't really find this valuable for the focus of my team so i'm not doing it the record resource if it is coming from like zapier make Airtable, this is like a standard field we have for all tables on Airtable. so there's nothing in there when it was created who it was created by and also here the status right so if it is a resource that we want to look into or like a new tool we add the idea or concept to do in progress requires review or complete it right so this way we have all the resources in one place we can always look into like new tools and new ideas that we can explore and let me also show you then the automation that we have created to send a slack notification this is so simple and really straightforward so you're going to click here on automations and the trigger is going to be when a form is submitted from the resource table with this form then i want you to send a slack message at here a new resource has been shared and i always make bold the static text like for example here the department the title date and then the variable or like the dynamic value it's like regular text new resource bot icon boom done so just in this simple system right here you could organize the way that you're sharing resources with your team the way that you're tracking things when it comes to like creating actual docs and sops i wouldn't necessarily track them right here you could i prefer to track them on clickup which is where i have my project management system so yeah guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the resource table feel free to ask in the comments below if you're looking to systemize your business of course you can always book a call with me and my team with a link in the description and you can also check the templates and tools we have in the description because they could be even more valuable like client onboarding finance systems and so much more so always check the links in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye